Hello and welcome to Magator96 and today we're going to talk about that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Today's topic will be too far behind most of the shit that is happening in the world in order to change society to fit their ideals. With Rimuru's existence being a huge roadblock in their attempts to realizing those goals. I'm of course talking about Yuki Kagurazaka in Kazali aka Kagali. But before we start here's the spoiler warning. I should be spoiling a lot of things in this video, so if you don't want to be spoiled, I would highly recommend that you go and read the light novel, as it is an enjoyable read. For everyone else, let's start with who Yuki is. Yuki Kagurazaka is a Japanese other world that summoned into this world and also used to be the Grand Master of the Free Guild. He has some connection to Shizu and thus to Rimuru. Currently, he is the commander of the Eastern Empire Mixed Corps, one of the four heads of the Imperial military. Yuki is kind, good natured and hard working person, always bright and optimistic. He is an ideal for many adventures for his good deeds. He is also a master in manipulating others, fully willing to resort to underhanded tactics in order to achieve his goals of world domination, all to create a just world that treats everybody fairly. Despite being manipulated for his own gains, he is very loyal to his friends, such as the moderate Harakuin alliance and also abhors acts that will bring misfortune to innocent people, such as slavery and murder. He treats his subordinates well and is genuinely concerned with their well-being. As for his past, a natural born genius, Yuki was satisfied with his life on earth. He had loving parents and plenty of friends, but after an overworked truck driver fell asleep at the wheel and crashed into his parents car killing them both, he fell into despair. When the courts ruled the driver innocent, Yuki discarded the unpresentableness and flaws of society. He initially wanted to take revenge and tear it all down but couldn't bring himself to inconvenience so many innocent people in the process. Instead, he realized that he would have to change society one step at a time by becoming a politician and gaining like-minded friends and allies who would help him achieve a more fair society. But before he could even finalize his plans, he was summoned to the other world. Kazalim, a former demon lord on the verge of death due to his defeat at the hands of Leon Cromwell, had summoned Yuki whose material body and spiritual body was compatible with their astral body and attempted with the last of their strength to lay a curse on Yuki that would kill his mind instantly and allow them to reincarnate into his body. Where? Yuki being a genius who already understood how the world worked during the trip between worlds as awakening his unique skill creator and used it to make his special attribute anti-skill, letting him resist the curse. He then pitied on Kazalim, allowed them to inhabit his body and promised to find a body for them to reincarnate into saving their life. After letting Kazalim inhabit his body, at some point he went up under the tutelage and guidance of Shizue alongside fellow student Hinata Sakaguchi, who were fellow countrymen. There he learned about the world's language and society. Alongside his teacher, Yuki used his knowledge of a more modern world to work the Society of Adventures into the internationally accepted Free Guild, which he was the appointed guild master of. Under his leadership, monsters related death decreased dramatically and new system and ranking monsters based on the amount of magicals was established. Those changes allowed for trade to blossom and the population to boom in areas that were previously poor and decrepit, improving the lives of many. At some point, he encountered Maribola Rose, who was secretly manipulating society and the economy from behind the scenes via the Council of the West, which he had complete control over. Maribel stood as an absolute roadblock in Yuki's goal of a fair and just society and blocked his plans off at every turn, much to his and Kazalim's annoyance. And sometime Yuki met Damrat and crushed the dark organization in the East known as Ekidan reforming it into the underground organization Cerberus, a place where he and his friends could be at least free from Maribel's eyes and ears. He appointed Vega, Misha and Damrat as its leaders. Eventually, an opportunity to strike back at Maribel came when she attempted to dominate him with her unique skill Greed. Yuki managed to resist her domination due to his desire being stronger than hers and used his position to secretly influence her mind and actions in return. Master his relationship with Rimuru. Yuki is grateful to Rimuru for letting him read manga, saving the kids of class C and bringing peace to the Jura forest. 
He claims that he will back Rimuro if there was a conflict against the church. As the series progresses, he slowly addresses Rimuro as a very serious threat to his plans. As for his relationship with Shizu, Yuki thinks highly of his teacher Shizu, who was almost like a mother to him and was initially angry at the fact that Rimuro murdered her. Yuki was the one who got her up to speed on the current state of affairs in Japan. Her knowledge of the catastrophe I'm not a bad slime slurp came from him. Moving on to Kagali. Kagali is a former demon lord and president of the moderate Harkulin alliance who had once been known as Cursed Lord Kazali. Seemingly killed by Leon Cromwell 200 years ago, Kazali managed to survive by escaping just as an astral body and now occupies a homunculus body in the form of a female elf. Having taken the new identity of Kagali, she began serving under Yuki as a secretary while still influencing the world with the help of her subordinates from the moderate Harkulin alliance. Kazali, during their time as one of the demon lords, was infamously known to be cruel and a power-hungry individual. Having garnered a lot of infimity due to having utilized unique curse's ability to forcibly make several high-class beings into his servants in order to further consolidate power for himself. He was also known to be highly destructive and an ill-tempered once he was set off, having antagonized Roy Valentine and caused mass destruction during the subsequent battle against him. He was also known to be highly cunning and intelligent demon lord having initially gained his reputation due to his uncanny ability to gather information and create complex ingenious schemes to obtain more power. They were known to control things behind the scenes rather than reveal their hand. This is seen during numerous schemes to recruit several demon lord potentials as his allies by advocating the claim to join the demon lord council in order to obtain further political power among his peers. Where, despite his violent and manipulative tendencies, Kazalin was also shown to have a lighter and more friendly side to himself. Seen during his interaction with the members of the moderate Harlequin alliance who are all genuinely loyal to each other and viewed themselves as family. Upon being revived and placed into a female elf homunculus, Kagali was shown to have taken several feminine habits, personally quirks, speaking tones and mannerism to that of a polite female secretary. Where, despite the new womanly traits, Kagali is shown to still retain several aspects of her masculine original Kazali himself, as in where she retained the habit of being easily annoyed at Laplace's antics and will talk to him in a very brusque tone when she begins to lose patience with him. Kagali is also shown to possess a very vengeful side to her personality, as in where she was greatly angered by Clement's death and swore to avenge him and she still felt immense anger and vengeful hatred for Leon Cromwell due to him having defeated and killed her original body. As for his past, centuries ago Kazalim was once a member of the Eleven Royal Family of the Ultra Sorcery Kingdom of the Elves who at the time were one of the most prosperous kingdom in the world. However, Kazalim's homeland would soon spell its own destruction by its own arrogance and stupidity upon angering a young girl that will one day become a demon lord Milim Nava, the daughter of the Star King Dragon Veldanov, resulting in the nation being completely obliterated and destroyed by her anger. Kazalim was one of the few surviving elves to have lived through the catastrophe and was stated to have witnessed Milim's wrath firsthand, causing the latter to hold a deep sense of fear for her and to have a healthy level of respect for her might. As one of the surviving elves royalty, Kazalim will then attempt to rebuild his lost homeland. By using the knowledge and technology he preserved from the original fallen elven nation now known as the Great Ruin Soma. He managed to create many of the lost technologies of his fallen homeland, resulting in the creation of the capital city Amarita and establishing of the puppet nation Gista. Originally, he was one of the demon lords that were active prior to the appearance of the demon lord Carrion, Freya and Clayman, where he quickly built up a fearsome reputation as a cunning streamer and planner due to his uncanny ability to gather information. After joining the demon lord council, Kazlim began actively searching for and recruiting beings of similar potential and power as himself who had the capabilities to become demon lords to become his subordinates. He would also create such beings himself using his magic, a seen that he created and engineered Clayman specifically to become a demon lord and also created Tyr and Footman who were shown to have formidable combat prowess that would possibly make them a match against a demon lord. During his time as one of the demon lords, Kazlim 
was known to have battle against Roy Valentine or which cousin was noted to have gauge his part to be equal to his own during his prime. Their battle was said to have been destructive enough that all of the surrounding territories around them were destroyed and resulted in the creation of the custom of the Demon Lord's fights and arguments being decided via majority vote of free was implemented. Where, despite having fought him himself, it was shown that Kazran was oblivious to Demon Lord Valentine's true position as a servant for the actual Demon Lord Luminous Valentine holding his council seat. He alongside Milim would also advocate to claim of Carrion as a Demon Lord and would also back up Frey and Clayman's claims in order to allow them into the council in order to obtain further political pull among his fellow Demon Lords. Eventually, during his time as a Demon Lord, Kazalin would come across or hear about Leon Cromwell who had declared himself a Demon Lord. As no one stepped up to support Leon's claim, he was deemed a self-proclaimed Demon Lord causing Kozlim to step to eliminate Leon for daring to call himself a demon lord, leading to the two they fight each other. He lost the fight and his body was destroyed, where Kozlim had successfully survived the encounter and for over 100 years wandered around as a disbondment spirit to his consciousness and mind slowly dissipating due to his lack of body. It was only until 10 years prior to Rimur's incarnation did he successfully possess and share the body with an otherworld Yuki and from there successfully acquired the current female elf homunculus body. Grateful for Yuki's help, despite originally having tried to snatch Yuki's body away, he began closely working with him to reach their shared goals and took the identity of Kagali, Yuki's secretary. As for his abilities, Kagali is the creator of Tyr, Footman and Clayman using dead bodies. As stated by Kazarim, he has created and engineered the three of each possessing specific abilities and qualities to assist him in his schemes, with him specifically creating Tyr and Footman to have high combat abilities and prowess while creating Clayman to have abilities more tailored to that of a commander and schemer such as himself. As for his relationship with Yuki, Kagali's savior and boss, she is spiritually loyal to him and shares his dream of a unified world where everyone can live happily. With this, I covered everything that I wanted to cover on Yuki and Kagali. And that will be all for this video. If you like this video, leave a like, leave your thoughts in the comments below, or subscribe to the channel for more manga reviews and One Piece content. And until next time, take care.